it's Jamie welcome back to my channel today I'm actually behind the camera because I am going to be showing you guys my makeup collection and I'm gonna show you guys how I organize all of my makeup before I begin I just want to put out a quick disclaimer I do have a lot of makeup and I'm aware that I have a ton of makeup but that does not mean that I am bragging or anything like that makeup is my passion and it is also my job a lot of the makeup that you're gonna be seeing today is actually makeup that is meant to be in my makeup artistry kit so not only is a lot of my makeup meant for my makeup kit that I just keep in here because I use it as well but a lot of the makeup was also sent to me so I do have quite a large collection so I just want you guys to keep that in mind this video was very highly requested so I really hope you guys enjoy it let me know what you thought in the comments down below of course like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this all right, so now let's get into it. So to begin, this is what I store my makeup in. This is the Alex Ikea drawer. Pretty much every single beauty guru on YouTube has this because it is probably one of the best storage solutions for makeup. So this is what the top of my Ikea drawer looks like. This is where I like to keep a lot of my brushes and as well as some lip glosses that just do not fit in my drawers. And on the side over here in this little pink basket, I have a lot of my miscellaneous things like setting sprays, just hand lotion, my beauty blender, all the things that I really just don't have room in in the actual drawers. So right over here, this is where I keep all of my Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses on display. I absolutely love the way these lip glosses look. I think they are really, really pretty, so I want to keep them on display. So I got this acrylic lipstick holder from Amazon, I believe, and it was quite inexpensive, and that is what I keep a lot of my lip glosses in. And then on the other side over here, I have some more lip glosses. I have some Dior lipsticks, a Buxom lip gloss, some Nars lip glosses and my two Gerard Cosmetics um, lipsticks as well and then right behind that this is where I keep all of my brushes now my brushes are in actually old candle holders that I DIY'd I actually have a DIY video on this and I will link it in the description box down below and then this is my makeup forever brush holder this is what I use to travel with when I have a freelance job and if you're curious pretty much all my brushes pretty much consist of Sigma Mac Zoeva and I have a few real techniques brushes as well. Alright, so let's begin with the first drawer. Alright, so in the first drawer, this is where I like to keep a lot of my miscellaneous lip products. So right over here, this is where I keep a bunch of my lip glosses. So I have my Buxom glosses, my NYX butter glosses as well, which are some of my favorites, as you guys know. I also have some Stila, some Revlon. Right next to that, this is where I like to keep my potted lip balm. So I have my Smith's Rosebud Salve. I have the strawberry flavor as well as the rose flavor, and I also have my Dior Rose Lip Balm. Now right in front of that, I like to keep all of my lip liners, and I sort of just keep them together with a hair tie over here, just to make sure they are nice and contained. I have a bunch of MAC, some Makeup Forever, um, I have some NYX ones, and then right in front of that, that is where I like to keep most of my other lip balms, so I have my eyelash curler just sitting over there, and then I have some of my other favorite lip balms, like this is the Hurrah Lip Balm, another Smith's Rosebud Salve um, lip balm, but except this is in the squeeze tube, and I also have the Palmer's Cocoa Butter lip balm and I also keep my sharpeners in this drawer as well now in this little container this is where I like to keep all of my pigments so I have some makeup geek pigments my Mac pigments and I also have a sugar pill pigment and I also keep my NARS eyeshadows that I have just loose in here because I don't really have anywhere else to put them now behind that I have my sugar lip polish this is one of my favorite lip scrubs so I just keep that just hanging around in this drawer and I also keep both of my Urban Decay setting sprays in this drawer as well almost forgot behind my lip balms I I have a few of my loose shadows. So I have my Stila loose eyeshadow. I have an Urban Decay one. I have a MAC loose shadow, which I should probably depot. And I also have a Laura Mercier loose shadow as well. All right, so let's move on to the second drawer. This is the drawer of the lipstick. This is probably my favorite drawer because you guys know how much I love lipstick. So this drawer is literally like a dream for me. Now all of my lipsticks are sitting in an acrylic lipstick holder. I used to have them literally just floating around this drawer, which was a complete mess because especially for the MAC lipsticks, they all pretty much look exactly the same. So you really don't know what you're reaching for. But this makes things really nice and organized, which I love. And I flip everything upside down, which makes things very easy because then I'm able to see the name of every single lip product. So right in the front over here, this is where I like to keep all of my MAC lipsticks. And then behind my MAC lipsticks, I have my high-end lipsticks 
lipsticks and then my drugstore lipsticks. So for my high-end lipsticks, I have a bunch of different ones. I have some of my NARS Audacious lipsticks, which you guys know how obsessed I am with these. I have a bunch of my Bite lipsticks, which you guys also know how much I love these. This is probably my all-time favorite Bite lipstick color. It is the color Violet. It's gorgeous. So I have some YSL over here. I have some glossy stains as well as their like normal lipsticks and then I also have some Smashbox lipsticks and I also have a little Urban Decay lipstick over here which is probably one of my favorite colors. It's just this gorgeous light pink. It's called Native. And then behind that, this is where I like to keep most of my drugstore lipsticks. So I have all of my Maybelline Vivids which are some of my favorite drugstore lipsticks. I also have my Revlon lip butters which I also love. I have another Maybelline one over there, a NYX one, and I have a few other miscellaneous ones just piled up in that corner over there. Right over here is where I like to keep all of my lipsticks. I do not fit in the acrylic holders. Just for example, my Kat Von D studded lipstick is a very strange shape. And I also have a bunch of my like Tarte Lip Surgences. I have some of my Bite Matte Lip Cream. I have a Too Faced Melted Lipstick, which I love. And then over here is where I like to keep all of my OCC Lip Tars. So I have a bunch of colors over here. I pretty much got these mostly for my kit. I got all the primary colors, red, yellow and blue that way i can literally mix any color i could possibly imagine so this is where i like to keep all of these just to keep them nice and organized here, so here's a quick overview of my third drawer this is where i like to keep all of my concealers eyeliners mascaras and all of my potted creams or eyeliners or gel eyeliners and stuff like that. So in this little pot over here, this is where I like to keep all of my concealers and I also have a few eyebrow products. I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz, of course, which I use every single day and my MAC Brow Set, which I also use every single day. So I just keep that there for easy reach. And then this is where I keep all of my concealers and correctors. So I have my NARS Creamy Concealers, my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, Bare Minerals Concealer, a YSL Touche Clat, my Make It Forever Full Cover Concealer, which is amazing, Bobbi Brown Corrector, which I love, and a Cover FX concealer, and a bunch of other just random concealers over there. Now, right over here is where I like to keep all of my potted products. Of course, I have my MAC Soft Odor Paint Pot. If you guys watch my videos, you know how much I use this thing. And then I also have a bunch of other cream eyeshadows. I have Bare Study for MAC, which is a gorgeous, shimmery champagne cream eyeshadow. And then I have a bunch of the Maybelline Color Tattoos. This is in the color Edgy Emerald. It's like a gorgeous turquoise color. It's so pretty. Some MAC gel eyeliners, which I've been using a lot. I have my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Some Maybelline gel liners as well, which are really great. Right next to that is where I like to keep my primer. So I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion and a little mini sample of the Lorac eyeshadow primer as well. And then over here I have my Graftobian color correcting wheel. I usually do use this on clients, but right now it is sitting in my drawer because I was using it for a bit. And then of course I have my brow bar to go from Whitening Light. Now back here I have all of my eyeliners as well as my mascaras. So this and this are all eyeliners. I have a bunch of these Tarte Smolderized pencils. They're really great for eyeshadow bases. I've got my Buxom Call Me Eyeliner, which is my current favorite black eyeliner at the moment. I've got some heavy metal glitters from Urban Decay. I have a few of these Smashbox Always Sharp liners, some Urban Decay 24-7 liners, which are some of my favorites. I have some Rimmel liners, which are also some of my favorites, NYX liners, and NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. So that's pretty much everything that you would find in the eyeliner drawer. All right, so that's pretty much it for this drawer. So let's move on to the fourth one. So over here is where you find all of my blushes, some more lip glosses, as well as all of my primer slash illuminators. So this is where I like to keep all of my blushes. I like to have them stacked like this. That way I can see them very easily. So I have a bunch of my NARS blushes, which are some of my all-time favorite blushes. This is Miss Liberty, which is actually a highlighter. This is Sin, which is one of my favorite fall blushes. Two of my Hourglass blushes, which are some of my favorites. This is in the color Radiant Magenta. And then I also have a few of my MAC blushes that are not depotted yet, so I just keep them in here. I have some cream cream blushes like this Too Faced cream blush, Makeup Forever cream blush. I have two of these. These are really, really great. This color is absolutely stunning. This is what I love to use on clients for cream contouring. This is in the color number 335. And then I have some of my Tarte blushes as well. And then I have a Milani and NYX blush back here. And then I have my Benefit Box blushes here. This is Dallas and this is Rockator. And then over here I have my Laura Mercier mosaics. These are probably my current obsession session right now I have the peach mosaic and I also have the pink mosaic so 
so gorgeous. And then right over here, I have my Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Palette. In the center over here, this is where I like to keep my Stila as well as my Bite lip glosses. Now, it was either last year or two years ago, Bite came out with a lip gloss set. Probably came with about 20 lip glosses, so I keep all of these in here. And I also bought a Stila lip gloss set, and I also keep these in here as well. On the side over here is where I like to keep all of my primers and illuminators. So one of my current favorite primers right now is the Stila One Step. I also have my Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination. Still a one, a Benefit Watts Up Highlighter Clinique Redness Solution Primer. And then I have my Laura Mercier Primer. This is the hydrating one. So that is it for this drawer. So this is my foundation slash bronzer drawer. So this is where I like to keep all my foundation over here and all of my bronzer and highlighters over here. So these are currently all of my foundations that I have. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, which is my all-time favorite. Two Makeup Forever HD foundations. This actually came from my kit, MAC Face and Body, with Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which is also one of my favorites. It is such a gorgeous foundation for dry skin. A Tarte BB Cream, two NARS foundations. This is the Sheer Glow, a Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. I like to use this to contour. And then over here, I have my Chanel Foundation and my Clinique um, Tinted Moisturizer. And I also have my Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation, which is the foundation that I use in my kit the most. It is probably one of my favorite foundations because you could get a very light to medium coverage without it ever looking cakey and it's also completely waterproof since it is water based and it's just a really 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 great foundation. Over here is where I like to keep all of my bronzers and highlighters. I have my NARS Laguna which is one of my all time favorites. Makeup Forever one. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil which is also another one of my favorites because it smells amazeballs. Over here is where I like to keep my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks and highlighters. This one over here is Pink Quartz and then right over here is my newest purchase. It's the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow highlighter I mean just look at this like I don't really have to say much about it of course I've got my Becca shimmering skin perfector in opal I have my Mac mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle another one of my all-time favorites is the Stila kitten highlighter duo this shade over here is absolutely gorgeous and then I have two Kevin O'Kay powders this one over here is the sculpting powder this is probably one of the most perfect contour colors and then this is the highlight powder it is called the celestial highlighter this is absolutely gorgeous for brides it just gives you the most gorgeous glow without it being like over the top shimmery over here i have my urban decay naked skin powder and then i have an hourglass powder in dim light now moving on to some of the bigger drawers this is the big daddy where i like to keep all of my palettes so i have my lorac pro palette. This is the Makeup Pro. I have the Vice 3 palette over here. I have my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And now over here is where I like to keep all of my other palettes. So I have my three Z palettes. This one over here has all of my Makeup Forever shadows as well as my three Makeup Geek blushes. This one has all of my MAC blushes. This one has some of my MAC eyeshadows. And then I have one more Z palette that has the rest of my MAC eyeshadows. Then I have all of my Naked palettes. I have Naked 1, this is Naked 2, and this is Naked 3. The BK Electric Palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, one of my favorites. It smells absolutely amazeballs. My Lorac Pro Palette, which is one of my all-time favorite palettes. Oh, over here is another Z Palette. This has all of my Stila um, eyeshadow palettes. I also have my Lorac Pro 2 Palette, which I love. Anastasia Beverly Hills Palettes, the Mia one, as well as the Emery Z Palette. Back here, I keep some of the palettes that I do not use as often. So I have my Inglot Palette. This is the palette that I like to keep in my makeup kit. I should use this a lot more often because the eyeshadows are quite amazing. Like, they are really, really, really good. I just for some reason don't reach for it as much as I reach for my other palettes. I have my Naked Basics 2 palette. I also have a Graftobian foundation palette in here, which I use a ton for clients. You will never, ever, ever, ever be without a foundation color if you have this palette. It's incredible. This, this next very messy drawer is where I like to keep all of my hair care products. So I just have a bunch of random stuff like some dry shampoo. I have some styling creams from Bubble and Bumble. I have... I don't know, I have such random stuff in here. Hair really isn't my thing, so I don't like go crazy with this drawer. This is just the stuff that I have accumulated over many years, and I just keep it all in here. This drawer over here is a little bit more on the boring side, but I love this drawer so much because it actually holds all of my special effects stuff. So right over here is where I like to keep all of my special effects stuff. So I have my paints, my spirit gum, my um, third degree and alcohol and all that stuff that you need for special effects. Right over here is where I like to keep all of my lashes. I have some 
Ardell um, individual lashes, two pairs of Allure lashes, and I have three pairs of Esquito lashes, which are my favorite brand of lashes. If you're wondering, my all-time favorite lashes is Lash Lorette from Esquito. These are the most gorgeous lashes ever, and my glue of choice is always Duo Lash Glue, of course. Now back here, I just have some stuff that I don't really use, and then I just keep here because I honestly have nowhere else to put it. Um, I have some loose eyeshadows over here, and then I just have empty palettes back here and then these two powders I do use but they are just too big to put anywhere else so I just keep them in here now the last and final drawer is literally the most boring and messy drawer of them all this is where I like to keep my microphone that I do my voiceovers with I have my GHD flat iron I have some brushes that I use to do my hair with and that's pretty much it. So that's it for my finished makeup collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Of course, give this video a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.